Today we're going to show you our new range of erasers that we've developed specially for artists. So based on our expertise of pencils, because we know an awful lot about them, we've been developing these erasers, really trying to get some erasers that really work. So I'm going to show you what each one does and the differences between them all. First of all, we've got the art eraser and the soft art eraser. General purpose erasers and really good for all sorts of pencil work. Very, very similar products and there's a bit of a clue in the name there that one of them's for those of you who prefer a softer eraser. Okay, let's get these out and we'll have a play. So first of all, I'm just going to lay down a piece of uh, graphite here. I've got just a 2B pencil, most popular pencil that's used, so you can see how well these erasers are going to work on that. Um, let's start off with the art eraser. So this is the general purpose eraser. I'm just going to rub it through the pencil there. <laughs> Give it a quick wipe. You can see it's really taken off most of that pencil, well, pretty much all of that pencil that's there. Compare that then to the soft art eraser. I'll do exactly the same thing. You can see that it's, a, it's softer, so you don't get such harsh lines when you're using it. Um, and it also means you don't damage, you're less likely to damage your paper if you're really, really rubbing away at something. What I'm going to do whilst we've got this out is I'm just going to bring in some other erasers that you might find out on the market and we'll just compare what they're like um, compared to our new ones. So here's one. You can see how that one's smudging everything. Eventually it gets there. Let's try another one. Oh, similar thing happening. And then final one. Ugh, nasty. So here you can see the don't one on the left and the ones which aren't don't on the right hand side. Now I can hear what you're saying, you're saying yeah but that's just a graphite pencil. Okay let's try the same thing again with a colour pencil. So I'm going to lay down a layer of colour soft pencil first of all. Let's try that one. That's there. We'll make a start first of all with the art eraser. I'm just going to go in there. See, that's lifted out a lot of the colour. It's always more difficult when you're erasing a colour pencil because you've got the colour pigments to deal with, but I think you'll agree that these are doing quite a good job. We'll take in the soft art eraser now. Get a very similar Oops. finish there. Now I'm going to pick up a couple of these ones which we find out on the market and see what they do. Oh. That one I'm really having to go over and over and over. And the final one. The results are subtly different here and I can certainly say that it's a lot easier to use the Derwent eraser to clear that colour pigment away. Right, moving on, here we've got the shaped erasers, which you can see two different shapes in the pack. These have been developed because of their shape. It's for people who m prefer holding something shaped, so you can get really accurate uh, erasing with these. They, you know, they're nice to hold in your hand. Let's do the same test. I'm going to uh, quickly put down our graphite pencil. Okay. As I said, there's two different shapes. A uh, triangular shaped one, which means you've got three corners and a, a grip in the middle to hold. We can just simply go on there with that. You can keep your lines quite small with this one, which is really nice to use. And then we've got the teardrop shape, which is a lovely grip, actually, that one. And uh, same thing, both work brilliantly. Okay, so let's just do the same test again with a colour pencil. I'll give that a few layers of green. And then let's take these erasers again. These are slightly firmer actually than the art erasers. So you may find you're able to put a bit more pressure on and get into that colour really well with them. 
Okay, let's take our next eraser in the range. This is our eraser pen, which has nothing to do with pens, of course. It's just a retractable eraser, which is really, really nice to hold. So uh, it's got a lovely grip design here uh, and really simple mechanism to make it work. Just click, click again, and it, a bit more pops out the end. And every time you click, you get a longer bit of eraser. So as it rubs down, you just click again and expose a new bit of eraser. Now, of course, you don't want this massive <laughs> bit of eraser hanging out the end. To get it back in again, you just push the end in and just slide it back. And there we go. So let's see it in action on the graphite pencil. There we go. You can see it really easy to use there. And because you've got such control with it being in a pen shape, you can really get in, you can get some quite fine lines. If you want to, you can even take a craft knife to the end here and make it even finer. That you get a great little line across there. We'll show it as well on the colour pencil. Just easily taking off some of that green pigment. So if you've got one of these wonderful eraser pens, you're going to want to refill that eraser when it runs out. We take it out just by pressing the button at the top. If we keep that held down, we take our new eraser, feed it in the hole and just push it right in. Give it a click and we're on our fresh eraser. So the refills are available in a pack of two, nice and handy. So the final eraser in the range is the kneadable eraser. I'm sure you're all aware that the kneadable eraser is a slightly different kind of eraser to the ones we've just been using. It's not really for erasing a, an area, it's for lifting out colour. So what we do with this is tear a piece off, mould it in our fingers, and then I use this to lift out tone and colour. So that's, it's very subtle, but we just keep dabbing away. You can see there, oh, lift it out, a nice circle. Great for adding highlights and things like that. You just make the end whatever shape you like and that's what you're going to lift out. So when you're working with pencils, if you've gone over too much, you can dab out a bit and then start working back in. So I can go over that bit there, for instance. Add a bit of shadow. Yeah, okay. So that's a kneadable eraser. It comes in uh, like a wax paper wrapper actually, which is great for storing it. So you just wrap it back up and it'll keep it nice and fresh. Okay.